today we have something special for you. You've been requesting it. I didn't even know that the heart line of tools offered it. If you want good information on tools and tool deals, it's not hard to find. It's all coming right up after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Get it? It's not hard to find. Why am I saying that? Because today we have what you've been asking for. This is Hearts Oscillating Multi-Tool. You can cut a lot of different materials. You can scrape, you can sand, you can do all kinds of stuff. Now this one, you're not gonna be able to do anything with because it's tool only. You're gonna have to put a battery with it. But once you have that battery, then you can do a lot of different things with this. It's part of their 20 volt system. One battery powers all hard 20 volt tools. Now, does that mean it powers all hard tools? No, because I think they have other voltages of hard tools. The Very Cool Gang seems to help us along when the information's escaping us, you deliver. So what is the other voltages of heart, the heart line of tools? I will let you know that this multi-tool is product number HPM. T01. It works with most multi-tool accessories. I will tell you this much. Just looking at it, there's a feature that I like, and there's a feature that I don't know so much about. We're gonna find out. Compact and powerful with 20,000 oscillations per minute for precision in tight spaces. Variable speed dial allows user control in a variety of cuts. Used for cutting and sanding in drywall, metal, wood, plastic, composite, and other materials. LED light, I like that part. Included onboard wrench storage. Works with all heart 20 volt batteries. Included in here is a multi-tool, three sheets of 80 grit paper, one sheet of 60 grit paper, grit paper, one 120 grit piece of sanding paper, a sanding pad, one hex wrench, one segmented blade, one wood blade, and an operator's manual. You're gonna to wanna to wear your safety glasses and read all instructions when using this tool. I got my safety glasses right here. Where are your safety glasses? Put them on! We're about to get started. You're dangerous, ice man. I'm gonna tell you right now, this feels very, very lightweight. We have our variable speed dial. I like to see how this operates. I'm gonna tell you something else. For me, that trigger pull is not satisfying at all, literally. Like you'll have to test it on your own. Now, does that mean this isn't a good tool? No, that's not what it means. It just means when it comes to pulling triggers, I don't like the way that one feels. This is a satisfying trigger pull. This is their brushless drill driver. See how we get more of a, a pull here? It's the length of pull. This is not enough. It does have a nice rubber overmold. It does have a space here up top that's overmolded as well, where you can get two hands on the tool. When you click it down to zero, you actually get an audible click. But when you click it off of zero, nothing. That's strange. These sure don't look like Imperial to me. Who do you think's making these oscillating blades? We have our sanding pads of various grits. We have our hook and loop pad. So we could attach this onto here. Generally the half moon blades like this are drywall blades. I think this, this would be the wood blade because it would be faster cutting. So I was looking on the tool for the dreaded Allen key because this is not toolless blade change. And I'm like, I can't find the tool. Well, here it is right at the base of the, of the battery. There's a lot of movement with these blades. This blade is definitely machined better, not nearly as much movement. Here's the sanding pad. Wow. I, I'm gonna tell you right now, highly disappointed in the way the accessories fit that come with the package. These are Milwaukee's newest oscillating blades. These are reasonably priced on special. If you wanna see a video about these, go on over here. Now, will these work with this oscillating tool? They do indeed work. And as you can see, it's much more positive. There's no play. Milwaukee ain't play. And the good part is, you know, because it's not toolless blade change, if you have open back blades, you could just slide the blades on there. That's definitely more positive. So the Milwaukee blades will work. Come on, Hart. You wouldn't have to include space on the tool and an Allen key if you just made it toolless. It does indeed work with the Dremel. You'll see the play in here. Wow, now we're really gonna get, whoo, we're gonna make it some, some, some nasty feedback on this one. We got the DeWalt oscillating blade. Wow, Stanley Black & Decker. Man, so far when it comes to fitting on 
our heart oscillating tool, the Milwaukee's done best. I think that the worst so far have been the ones that come in the box from heart. Finally, the creme de la creme of oscillating blades. Fine. Yo, zero play. Like, that's unreal. Look at that. That's amazing. That might even fit better than Milwaukee. Like there's zero wobble back and forth. These Starlock blades do fit on this tool. And this is another fine blade. This is full Starlock. Like you have to have a Starlock capable tool to use this blade. And you'll see that it's perfect. And I will tell you that is some snug, that's a snug fit. If you're going to have a tool for blade change, at least Hart has decided to put it on the tool. I gotta tell you, when it comes to oscillating tools, the higher the amp hour, the better. If you have a one and a half amp hour battery, I'm sure it will do okay. Probably not, just saying. I'm trying to make you feel better. But I would probably throw a two on here. This tool, Bear Tool, is $54 for everything in the box and the tool. No battery, no charger. The blade that's on here is probably like 30 bucks. So it's almost as much as the tool itself. We have our wood blade. This is a metal and wood from Fine. This is gonna be my first pull of the trigger with a battery on. Let's see how it feels. I will tell you this much. It feels better with the battery on than it does off. Here's the thing, with some other oscillating tools, you have a dial and a variable trigger. This is a non-variable trigger, okay? This is just an on and off switch. Okay, but you can set the tool off to zero. And what's good about that is if you were going to keep your battery on your tool and then throw it in a bag, it's not like, uh, it's not like heart gives you a bag. It does give you a light though, okay? You don't have to worry about actuating the trigger and turning the tool on. You could set it to zero. We'll set it to one. And it becomes infinitely variable from zero to six. We're gonna set it on six. Let's see how it cuts. Pretty impressive, not bad at all. And that is universal metal and wood blade. Was that, look how clean that cut is. But was that a product of the tool or the fine blade? Let's put the blade that came with the tool on it. And we'll make another cut. All right, that second time I really, really wrenched down on the blade. We definitely didn't have as much noticeable slipping. My suggestion would be that if you are going to buy this hard tool and it's not really heated up, it has a nice switch, it has a nice overmold, um, it does transmit a nice amount of vibration through the tool into, into your hands and arms, more so than maybe a contractor grade tool. It is kind of light. Maybe that's the reason. With all that being said, can it get the job done? It seems like that it can, okay? I will say we're no we, we noticed that the quality of cut and the burning is more evident with the stock blade. The reality is if you're looking for an oscillating tool on deal, you're already in the heart line of tools or I don't know, you're considering the heart line of tools. I guess this tool could get the job done. But I'm thinking that you'd have a much better cutting experience with this tool if you paired it with a much better oscillating tool blade. So keep that in mind. And those blades are not inexpensive. None of them are, none of them seem to be. But uh, let us know down in the comments section below, what do you think of the new heart line of tools? Would you consider choosing Heartline over maybe Ryobi or Hercules or Bauer. Who do you think the Heartline of Tools is made to compete with? Rigid, maybe Rigid Cordless? We wanna know, leave it down below. Also, if you appreciate the content, you like the channel, 
You'll like getting some real world feedback. Smash the like button. It's free for you to do it. It doesn't cost you a thing and you get seven years of good luck. It helps out the channel immensely. We'd appreciate it. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.